Hey guys, it's Rabbit. Um, today I just wanted to kind of update because I got um, sort of a cool prop for my Ipple House pet doll. Um, my little little Quentin here. Um, I decided that uh, I was going to take him and um, Hikaru to the Crossroads Doll and Teddy Bear Show in Puyallup, Washington in March. So I figured, well, I'm going to be walking around the, the floor and stuff, and Hikaru I can just kind of hold like this, but Quentin's so small, I didn't want to, like, set him down somewhere or, you know, drop him or something, because I don't have one doll like this and one doll like this. So I got um a, it's actually like a, a small pet carrier for, like, hamsters and, like, stuff like that, and it's not really as small as I thought it was going to be, but it turns out it's a pretty decent size. So, I mean, this is, this is the carrier. It's really cute. I like the little cutout window here. It's a little star, and the colors are really boyish for him. They had, like, some on eBay that were, like, random designs, and I was like, well, I want to be able to pick the design. So I actually got this carrier from a seller that was specifically, like, selling this particular one. It got a little, um, a little dented in the packaging, but... It still like zips up closed in the right shape, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, <clears throat> it has like a little handle on top, and then it has like it didn't come with a strap, but I think I'm gonna make it one because um, I'll probably just carry it like over my shoulder, like a purse or something, um, and put my wallet in the other end. But it does have like a little a little pocket here with a snap, but I mean it can't really fit that much in there. And obviously I don't want to be like carrying my wallet in a strap where people can get to. Yeah, my wallet, that wouldn't be good to lose. So, um, for this, it, it, when I got it, it had nothing in the inside, like, it's just, just like that, like, it has this sort of plasticky stuff so that you can wipe it down if your animal has an accident, which mine's not going to, but, um, so I made it kind of like a, there's a little blanket, which is, I didn't do any sewing for that, it's just a piece of, uh, uh, fleece or whatever you want to call it, but I did make this little insert for the inside and you can see it's already got like little dents in it from where he was in there But um, and then I made it a little like elastic strap so that he doesn't um, Like tumble around in there because that was one of the things I was kind of concerned about. It's a little uh, It's a little bit big inside there for him like here, I'll show you he does fit in there really well actually I kind of just put his feet back so I can tuck him in there, but um He fits in there like that. So, I mean, he has enough room to, like, move around or whatever. And then I put the elastic strap in there so that when, uh, when he's in there, I can just kind of tuck him in there. And it's like a little seat belt kind of thing. Kind of just holds him in place um, for when I'm actually walking around with him, which is nice. I feel better about that. He's really secure in there. He doesn't move around. And then, uh, you know, he's got his little props, like, this little bone. These are actually, this is actually a real, like, rawhide dog bone. Um, but it's, like, perfect scale. They had them at the store, and they came in, like, a package of, like, a bunch of them. And I bought them at work, and, um, because I work at the store, and I bought them, and my coworkers are like, oh my gosh, you don't, you don't even have a dog, what are you doing? And they're like, that's, that's for your fake dog, isn't it? I'm like, look at it, this the size is so perfect! And some of them were like, oh, that's awesome, and others were like, okay, she is seriously weird into these dolls, which is okay, I, I totally don't care if they judge me for that, but whatever. Um, but yeah, he has this little little bone and then he has his little bear fits in there I love this little bear it's it's like his little his little buddy it was actually like it has these cute like tiny little beady eyes it just cracks me up and then it has like little little stitched paw pads I, it was actually a Christmas um, ornament thing and it had a little stitch candy cane and I, I originally bought it thinking oh that's cute little Christmas thing and then it just kind of sat around in my drawer so I cut the little candy cane off and now it's Quentin's bear I don't know it probably has a name but who knows what a dog would name their teddy bear so I'm not really sure but yeah it goes in there and he's like super cozy in his little 
carrier. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, the only thing is, I know it like looks great with him, but I'm just thinking, like for me to carry it, it's it's great. But I was looking at it next to Hikaru, and um, I'm like, God, he would not be able to pick this thing up. Like it's not that heavy, but it's awkward. But I was thinking also like real dog kennels. That, I mean, they're pretty. Like, for bigger dogs and stuff are pretty big, and it does look awkward when people pick those up. So, I mean, it's not really that out of scale, if you think about it that way. But, um, I just thought it was a cool little prop, and I wanted to share that for other people that have the, uh, Ipple House pet dolls. Um, just make sure that when you buy one, you check the measurements and stuff. Uh, this one, I think it said it was, like, 10 inches long. So, if you get anything bigger than that, it's gonna be humongous. So, make sure you get them, like, under 10 inches. Um... But yeah, they, they do um, have some on eBay uh, under like small pet carriers for hamsters and stuff like that. So they also have little ones for hedgehogs that um, like you can hang around your neck and it has a little zipper on the top. But it they look less, I mean, they look more like a hedgehog carrier than less like a, like a dog kennel. So I didn't get one of those. But um, that would also be a good idea if you're just planning on carrying it around somewhere with you um, to keep it safe. But yeah, anyway... Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.